Sports Pew 1212 back and I got cross say well here again and I got cross video review for Age of Extinction crosshairs. Got a lot of Age of Extinction stuff coming in. Next week I'll have another one. Hopefully. Hopefully. To get started with accessories, he has two pistols and a blaster. How I but first we'll, before we go into the figure, we'll go into the package. Autobot symbol. Crosshairs aided up just like Bumblebee for all of you people who care about that. And there's beautiful face work. I hope he looks like that in the movie. And then you got, I hope he looks like this in the movie. This looks really cool. If they painted the goggles on the actual figure, I would have loved it. Like a blue one and a red one. That would have been awesome. On the goggle. And then you can see there's a headlight in there. They got the cape. It's so detailed. You got the spoiler symbol thing, the trailer symbol thing. I don't know what to call it. All right. Back to the package. Bio. Pause it and read it. Time's up. 18 steps. 13 steps to get this guy into either mode. Actually, just... 13 steps for both modes. This, this, this guy in robot mode, blaster and pistol in his hands. I have no idea what's up with that. They're supposed to... Right, uh, Mitch and Tona, there's a part where I'm going to teach you something on this, okay? So you better be watching, just to let you know. This is vehicle mode. I know you like this vehicle mode, Mitch and Tona. Alrighty, so, as you showed in your video, Mitch Santona, you had this up, like that. There's a joint, and this goes down on his back, softly, just to let you know, you left that out. As, and how I like to do this is I put one pistol up in that little port in there, ooh, little port in there. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Nightmouse 74 for thanks for subscribing me to my buddy. And I got, I subscribe to you. You are awesome. I'm watching you every day. You know, but still, I like your channel. Do a good job on there. And I'm going to give a shout out to Mitch Antona. You got some pretty cool stuff. And a shout out to Alt Botmus. You got some really cool stuff on your channel. So, yeah. So, this is how I like to do this. Ow. One pistol in his hand. Blast me there. And he has heal spurs. For all of you people who do not know, because the instructions do not point that out. <clears throat> and I got a, a part that leaves once, makes this guy easier to transform into vehicle mode. Don't rotate those hands. Don't do it. If you can help it. Because it's a pain to rotate them around. Besides. Ah! Alright. Just won't put the pistol in there. It's been annoying. But as you can see, the pistols go in there. So, you know what? Do it anyway. It's a pain in butt. What? Pain. To do this, there you go. So that that normally takes me a lot less time than that. I promise you guys, that normally takes. Hey, you got crosshairs in his vehicle mode. This guy's beautiful. Beautiful. What 
look how nice he rolls. Bumblebee and Optimus don't roll very well on hard surfaces. This guy rolls perfectly, even with a gun on the bottom. And I'll show you what I'm talking about with the mate. This weapon storage, as you saw in that accident transformation, the pistol store in there, blaster tabs in pretty tightly onto there. See, there's, a pull, there's ports. This is the only one that works. You can't really do that. But there's a, there's a port right in his leg, and it can be a pain to get in there when it's not in there. A pain to get out. And it still rolls really good. And you can make out his head, his arms, his legs all attached. And just so you know, Mitch Santana, this bit right here that's in robot mode, just flopping around, that's supposed to be part of his parachute, actually. Yeah, because he has a paratrooper. Okay, still going. So let's comparison stack up off this. As you can see, Crosshair is as long Because Octopus is as long as Bumblebee. It's crazy. He's got dog hair on him. <laughs> uh, yeah, excuse the interruption of dog hair. If it wasn't for the nasty dog hair, it was actually kind of funny. No, Pepper does not have dog hair on him. Oops, trust me. Wait, you can see like... Oh, see? This guy didn't even make it all. Oh. <laughs> but these wheels didn't really roll. What are you trying to say? So this is, this is just your average everyday Corvette here. Except you got nice deco. Nice paint scheme. This is like appealing to my eyes. I love the green and black color scheme. And there's like black swoop. Huh? Swoop? Huh? Swoop? Huh? It's just confusing. It's like painted, unpainted. Painted, unpainted. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. I don't know what I'm talking about. There's so nice, pretty silver rims. And if you roll this really fast, and keep doing it, it doesn't look like there's any rim. Like, tread. I don't know what these are, really. And they even, like, they they detailed this these wheels really well. Like, they put the silver in, in like, the hubcap. And they molded lots of stuff, lots of detail in there. And then they, they got the rims, they got the treads in there, the little rims and the wheels. Oh, which you can see Optimus has too many. Optimus has too many. Optimus has a lot. So maybe that's why he doesn't roll very well. Because he has too many rims. Ah! Yes. And then, and they even like painted the wheels realistic calorie like that's not just the normal black that's not molded black and see they didn't even paint the hubcap they painted the hubcap and stuff silver and then this is just the normal black plastic i think and this is actually like painted so i like it i like it not disappointing at all now, it would have been nice if there was no Autobot symbols on here. Because he's supposed to be in disguise, but there's nothing you can do about it. And I would have liked it if they painted these in. They probably spent most of the money on the wheels. I can understand that. But it would have been nice if they could have painted those. And if painted a license plate maybe and some headlights i'll probably do that myself once the movie comes out uh in the preview this isn't actually painted so i guess that's accurate i like this nice flat here and then yeah i like the, i just really like the deco on this it's a bit bulky it's a, 
and it looks more bulky on screen than it actually is. It's really nice. Watch out for some more Transformers videos. Bye.